The Toyota Halftime Report. Brought to you by Toyota and their full line of quality cars and trucks. Toyota, I love what you do for me. From our studios in New York, your host, Brent Musburger. Good first half. We've got a lot of breaking news now in college football. Rick Neuheisel is going to take over as the head coach out at the University of Colorado. Bill McCartney will coach the Buffaloes in the Fiesta Bowl. Ray Goff, his contract, will be honored next year at Georgia. Now I want to bring in my colleague Peter King of Sports Illustrated because, Peter, Bill Walsh has stepped out at Stanford today. Is he going to join another team in the NFL? Brent, Bill Walsh will not coach in the NFL, and Bill Walsh will take a job of no kind with the San Francisco 49ers. What he will do is he'll become kind of a quarterback guru. He's going to be a consultant to some NFL teams and to some other teams about quarterbacking. I look for his first job to be with the World League next spring to try to develop new quarterbacks, which the NFL desperately needs. Uh, Miami probably doesn't need him right now. You were out there yesterday <laughs> at the Meadowlands. Here's the sucker play of the year. They think he's going to spike it, and he beats the Jets right here. Peter, what happened? Great thing about this is, does Don Shula call this play? No. Gary Stevens, the offensive coordinator? No. Bernie Kosar called this play. He called the play in the, in the helmet microphone to, uh, to Dan Marino. The only other guy in the stadium besides those two, those two guys who know it is Mark Ingram. And how does Ingram know? I asked him after the game, and he said, Dan gave me the stare. When he gives you the stare, you know the ball's coming. The stare next Monday night, Junior Seau looking across the line at Jeff Hostet, or if Jeff is healthy, of course. But you know, right now, the Chargers are 9-3. and three. And I said to Junior a short time ago, I said, you know, Junior, you're not getting much respect despite that record. That's, that's a fact. And, uh, you know, we cannot ask for any respect. We have to go out there and earn it. And the only way of doing that is on the football field. You and I can talk about us being in the Super Bowl this year, last year, or the other years uh, previous, but... Uh, Right now, we're, we're, we're leaning towards a winning season now, and uh, we have a good chance. Now, let me cut to the violence issue in the National Football League. Do you think the game has suddenly become too violent, Junior? I think it's always been a violent sport. It's been a dangerous sport, but at the same time, it's not an intent to go out and kill somebody. I mean, I, I feel that the public has kind of boosted it in a way because people are getting injured and things like that. Well, that's the severity of a football player playing in the National Football League. That's the chances. If there's a big risk involved of us going out there and doing the things that we do. Junior, I've known you for years. Are you still driven to be the best? Do you still go out there on Sunday saying, I want to show how good a linebacker I really am? Every day at practice, all, every day to the, you know, to the last, last play of the game. I mean, uh, there, there, there's always going to be that drive because um, there's no room for complacency here in the National Football League. There's, it's a revolving door. I just don't want to be in it too early. Junior Seau is driven at San Diego, and another man driven with the 49ers, Jerry Rice. Back with him in a moment. This year, thousands of people will invest in the promise of new technology, the promise of an integrated safety system to help guard against the unexpected. A sound chamber capable of lowering noise levels by 30 decibels. Plus a built-in operation sensoring system to improve performance. The 1995 Toyota Corolla, recognized for over 25 years of progress as the benchmark of quality and the place where promises are kept. Saturday, ABC's college football kicks off a doubleheader with one of the greatest traditions in sports. Army battles Navy in a high noon showdown. Then the SEC crowd in a Sugar Bowl berth are on the line. Undefeated Alabama takes on the Florida Gators. It's the SEC championship presented by Dr. Pepper. It's all Saturday on ABC's College Football. When his career is over, Jerry Rice may hold all of the important pass-catching records. He already has the touchdown record. Let's go back to the opening Monday night. And here's Al Michaels. It's been almost three months since you broke Jim Brown's all-time touchdown record against the Raiders on the opening Monday night game this season. Upon reflection, what do you think when you think back to that moment? I think about all the emotion, the hard work, the dedication, uh, just the time that I put in to prepare myself. Also, my teammates that really helped to put me in that position. And 
And it's amazing because she worked so hard. And just to see everything happen on that Monday night, the entire world, uh, they were looking at that game. Is there a record that you don't own that you'd love to have? When it's all over, I think I would like to, I would like to hold every record possible. And it's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. And, you know, if I have to stay out there after practice, put in that extra time, you know, I'll do it. Jerry, you're 32 years old, 10 years in the league. What drives and motivates you at this point? I think uh, I'm really afraid of failure. You know, I have worked so hard to get myself into this position. Uh, and the scary thing about it is that I know one day it's going to be time to walk away from it. But I would like to walk away on top. You hold so many records. There have been dozens of spectacular moments in your career. But what would you pick as the defining moment of your career? I think uh, back in uh, Super Bowl 23 when we had, I think, two minutes on the clock. And I think everybody in the stands knew that we would win the football game. And just to watch John Taylor make that catch. So that was my first Super Bowl. I didn't make the winning catch, but it felt like I did. Brad, I think it's an amazing thing, and I don't think he's being at all disingenuous, but here's a guy who could have named two dozen moments, each dealing with him specifically, and the highlight of his career features Joe Montana and John Taylor. Also, I asked him last night, I said, how much speed have you lost since you were a rookie? He said, I'm faster now than ever. What a joy he's been to watch. Yeah, Al, I was struck by that, too. That was uh, quite a moment and quite an admission on his part. Al, I think everybody's going to be up late. The last seven games in New Orleans between these two teams have been decided by seven points or less. The second half is coming up.